Hello everyone. Now today in this video we are going to learn what is Lagrange interpolation method. Okay. So uh, before going deep into Lagrange interpolation method, okay, uh, why they will use this method only? Okay. So my first question answer is this. Difference is not evenly distributed among x. Okay. So what is x? X is this. 2, 3, 3 minus 2 is 1. Again, 6 minus 3 is 3. 7 minus 6 is 1. 9 minus 7 is 2. So the uh, difference between x is not evenly distributed. So we will use Lagrange interpolation. Okay. And if the uh, difference is evenly distributed, then, then we will use Newton forward and Newton backward interpolation method. Okay. So my first question is clear. Now this thing you will be provided in your question paper. What is the value of x? x value of x is 2, 3, 6, 7 and 9. And what's the value of y? y is 15, 39, 243, 375 and 771. Okay. And you have given that find f of 5. Means you have to find the value of 5 which is over here. Okay. I have to find the value of f of 5. Okay. So this method is quite simple. You just have to memorize the formula. Okay. So what is my formula? y equals to x minus x1, x minus x2, x minus x3, dot dot dot, x minus xn by x0 minus x1, x0 minus x2, x0 minus x3, x0 minus xn into y0. Okay. This portion is quite simple. Moving to the next one. What is written over here? x minus x0, x minus x2. Where is my x0? x minus x1 okay where is my x minus x1 okay again x minus x3 x minus x4 and x minus xn it will continue to till that now again in the denominator part it is x1 minus x0 x1 minus x2 x1 minus x3 where is my x1 minus x1 you have got the right answer actually if I subtract x1 from x1 in the denominator, I'll get a 0. Okay, that's why I'm not taking x1 minus x1 in the denominator portion, and that's why I'm not considering x1 x minus x1 in the numerator too. Okay. Moving to the third one, again x minus x0, x minus x1, x minus x3. Where is x minus x2? I have not considered x minus x2 because in the denominator. If I subtract x2 minus x2, it will be 0. That's why what I have taken in the numerator, x minus x0, x minus x1, x minus x3, x minus x4 till x minus xn divided by x2 minus x0, x2 minus x1, x2 minus x3, same. Okay? And it will continue so and so on. Now, I am just putting my form, I am just putting my values inside this formula to get my answer. Okay? What is my uh, x? x is what I have to find, which is 5. And what is x1? I know, which is 3. What is x2? 6. What is x3? 7. What is x4? 9. Similarly, I have just put in my value inside that. I have put in my value inside that. What is y0? y0 is this. y1 is this. y2 is this. y0, 15. y1, 39. I have just put in my value inside that. When I compute this formula, I will get this. Minus 12 by 17 plus 13 plus 324 minus 225 and this. If I just add and subtract these two, I'll get 147. Okay. So in this Lagrange interpolation method, you just have to memorize the formula. Okay. Just remember the formula and you will get all the sums based on Lagrange interpolation method. What's the formula? I'm repeating it once again. It's x minus x1 x minus x2 x minus x3 okay divided by x0 minus x1 x0 minus x2 x0 minus x3 okay so i have not considered here x0 minus x0 okay that's why i have not taken x minus x0 over here okay similarly moving to y1 what i will not take i will not take x1 in the numerator okay x minus x0 x minus x2 i have an consider x minus x1 in the numerator okay and similarly i have just subtracted uh, all the values from the x1 okay similarly coming to y2 i'll not take x2 in the numerator okay and i'll subtract every value from x2 in the denominator okay i am subtracting every value from x2 in the denominator and i will not consider x2 in the numerator okay 
So this is my Lagrange interpolation method and using this method I have computed the value which is 147. Thank you. Thank you friends for liking our videos. Do subscribe it and for any queries just comment down below.